Hey, this is Jen, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company with a quick tutorial on how to move some of that bassiness, boominess, and mud from your podcast using GarageBand. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet and not too technical. So as you can see, I have pulled in my audio file and I'm going to play it for you and you're going to notice it doesn't sound horrible, but it just kind of sounds a little overwhelming with the bass and the boominess. This is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. Okay, again, not horrible, but we can make it sound better. And that's what we want to do. We want to make our podcast sound better for our listeners. So the first thing I'm going to start with is bringing up my equalization or EQ panel. And to get that to show up, we come over here and click on the smart controls icon. And boom, it magically appears at the bottom of our screen. And you can adjust that to make it as big or as small as you like. The other thing that you want to do, make sure that track is highlighted. If master is highlighted, then that is going to affect the overall sound of your podcast and everything that's coming through that master output. So you want to make sure that it is track. So anything that you change in here is affecting only this clip right here because it is on this track. So there are two bands in this EQ that I'm going to talk about. And this, this is where we want to start with removing the bassy muddiness of our track. And I start by moving what's distracting. And then we can see if there's anything else, any other frequencies that we need to bump up. And I start down here with the high pass filter. And the cool thing about this, and I'll play it and kind of move this to adjust it so you can hear what happens as I adjust this filter. So everything above the lowest frequency then is going to pass through. So it's going to remove all of those super low frequencies that are muddying up our mix. This is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. All right, something else that I want to do is I'm going to press C and then this little yellow highlight, this is going to highlight up here in the cycle range because I want this to keep playing over and over again as I make these adjustments so I don't have to keep stopping to press play every time. This is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. This is Jen from the Brassy Bro And then just drag this and season it to taste. The next thing that I want to show you, so we're going to go click on this to turn it off. And then the other option that we have is the low shelf filter. So that's the orange, so that's highlighted right here. And as you can see, when we drag that down, these lower frequencies over in here are going to disappear. So let's play this and hear how that sounds. This is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Let me drag it down. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy the Broadcast. Right. This is Jen from the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. Say you need to add some bass into your track. We can also do that. This is Jen from the Just Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. This is Jen. And that is it. That is just a couple of ways to kind of pull some of that mud out of the lower frequencies so that you get a more clear sounding podcast. For more podcasting tutorials, you can visit my podcasting tutorial playlist on YouTube at Jen Eads Brassy. And that's J-E-N-E-D-D-S Brassy. And you can also check out my free podcasting course at BrassyBroad.com. And for the daily behind the scenes of my podcasting and production life, you can connect with me on Instagram at BrassyBroadGen. Happy podcasting!